Welcome to your weekly U.S. news update. We have three stories for you this week. Enzo Robotics releases the Raptor. We have some new DJI releases. Yes, one more. And then we have a drone show at Sun and Fun that was absolutely amazing. So let's get to it. And first up this week is Enzu Robotics has released the Raptor and the Raptor T. Now the Raptor has the four-third 20 megapixel wide camera and then a half inch 12 megapixel telephoto lens with a hybrid zoom up to 56x. And the Raptor T has the half inch 48 megapixel wide camera, a half inch 12 megapixel telephoto lens, and then a 640 by 512 long wave infrared camera. Now these specs might look familiar because, uh, well, they are the specs from the Mavic 3 Enterprise and the Mavic 3 Thermal. Uh, what Henzu has done is actually uh, buy the rights to uh, make this drone themselves using actually a different software. So uh, both of these models have also the RTK module, a nine mile range and a 45 minute of flight time. They are an American based company that's operated out of Austin, Texas. Enzu has also partnered with Aloft the lens provider that you know and love uh, to provide the software and then the integrated lens request for the Raptor series. Now we'll see about getting our hands on one of those, but if you want more information on this, we actually did a full interview right here with uh, Randall Warnas, who happens to be the CEO of Enzo Robotics, and you can find that on the Pixel Drone Show page. Uh, if you're not familiar with Pixel, uh, we took a little bit of a break for a lot of different reasons, but we are back with Haya from Drone Excel, and where we interview a bunch of different people from the industry, including this interview right here. Next up this week, DJI has released yet another product, actually two things. First off is the DJI Trust Center and then also two new battery banks. Uh, the DJI Trust Center is designed to assist consumers and enterprise users with better understanding privacy controls and data encryption that are available on DJI drones. Now that's a great resource to learn about uh, what security measures are available on a particular set of uh, drones. We'll leave a link down below if you want to learn more about this, but uh, DJI also released another product, and this has been three in the span of two weeks, the uh, Avada 2, the RS4 gimbal, and now an actual uh, battery bank, which is something that we were not really expecting. Uh, they released two different versions, the Power 500 and the Power 1000 battery banks. The banks use an intelligent battery management system with a lifespan of up to 3000 charge cycles or 10 years. The accessories for the power banks include solar panel adapters, a car charging cable, uh, solar panels possibly, and then DJI fast charge cables, and then a 12 volt output cable for other devices. Now DJI is also offering three year warranty uh, if you order directly from their website with also an extended coverage available for up to five years. Uh, the banks both support fast charging for Mavic 3, Air 3, Matrice 30, and then the Inspire 3 batteries from 10% to 95% uh, depending on the battery in roughly about 30 minutes. Uh, we have made a full review that you can find right here. We've been testing this thing for several weeks and uh, quite frankly, it's a beast. Uh, we've been able to power up a lot of different things uh, using the battery bank, but uh, check out the video for more information. And last up this week, the Sun and Fun Air Show had an amazing surprise uh, because they used drones for a light show along with the actual air show of the aircraft flying. Uh, the aircraft had pyrotechnics, they had full pyrotechnics on the side, and then two different displays on each end of the field using drones, a total of 500 drones. The show was put on by Starlight, company based in Michigan, and we were actually lucky enough to be behind the scene on the second show on Saturday night, and let me tell you, what an amazing spectacle. Uh, 500 drones taking off right here in front of us. So we want to say a big thank you to Matt for letting us uh, kind of shadow and take some cool videos. Uh, this is, it's been, a, it's been a long time I've been going to air shows and pretty much most of my life, uh, even as a kid, uh, I have never seen anything like it. The, the, the pyrotechnics, the show in itself, we saw it last year uh, with just the pyrotechnics and the actual aircraft with uh, fireworks on the aircraft. Now adding that complexity of the uh, the drone light show, you should have seen the reaction from people that were around us. We saw it on Wednesday night and then we saw it again on Saturday from the field. But on Wednesday, we were around a whole lot of people uh, from uh, the terrace of our hotel. And the reaction was absolutely amazing. So uh, I'm pretty sure this is a first uh, to be done with 
uh, in the middle of an air show with uh, pyrotechnics, like I said, lights and everything. Uh, I hope we see a lot more of these. Uh, I'm really excited that uh, we get to see this technology mixing with the world of aviation. And uh, yeah, that was quite the show. And that's it, that's all we have. You have a great weekend and we will see you on Monday. We're back in town, back with the live at uh, 4 p.m. Pacific, and we'll see you then. Mm -hmm.